<laughs> That's terrible. That's all you do? No. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cringiest dance scenes in movies. I've been practicing. Hmm, practicing what? Some dance moves. Uh, one and two and twirly, 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 and one and like two, that. and you're still Finger. getting it wrong. How do you guys move so fast? I could probably show you better than I could tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. For this list, we're looking at unbearable freestyled or choreographed moments in big screen films that make us want to scream and shout. Do you agree with our choices or do you think these numbers deserve more credit? Let us know in the comments which of these scenes gave you the heebie-jeebies. Number 10. Yeah or nah? Hitch. Dancing's the one thing I'm not worried about. In this quirky romantic comedy, Albert Brenneman seeks guidance from dating coach Alex Hitch Hitchens in hopes of winning over love interest Allegra Cole. While going over Hitch's dating how-tos, the topic of dancing arises, and this scene is a sight for sore eyes. Hitch initially claims to have a no-dance policy, but he wants to cover all possible situations. Generally, I have a firm no-dancing policy, but... If she asks, you cannot say no. Kevin James's character isn't worried and believes he can win Allegra over with his questionable moves. Wanting to see for himself, Will Smith turns on Usher's yeah. Show me what you mean by you're not worried about it. Trust me. Peace up, yeah. A-Town. From his reaction, we can see that he's thinking, oh no. Starting the routine off with a self-clap, Brenneman strongly believes that his moves can bring the heat, but we really wish he would take a seat. Don't ever do that again. Number 9. Beach Burn – Step Up Revolution In the fourth installment of the Step Up franchise, this scene is purely outlandish. Resembling an animalistic courtship display, Sean Asa and Emily Anderson demonstrate their mutual admiration through a dance battle on the beach. Sean initiates by telling Catherine McCormick's character that she should dance around him to make him look good. Don't you know how this works? I hold a drink in my hand, you dance around me and make me look good. <laughs> okay. However, she purposely embarrasses him with her atrocious moves. <laughs> After her intentional offbeat fist pumping, Sean locks in her attention with his break dancing. He even playfully blows sand in her face. How romantic, right? Apparently she's into that and they continue their controversial routine. Conclusively, the intimate scene ends under a shower that comes out of nowhere. And after all this, perhaps a shower is required to rinse out what we just saw. Number 8. Jump. Love Actually. So here's one for our ass-kicking Prime Minister. I think he'll enjoy this. A golden oldie for a golden oldie. This celebratory shimmy in the Christmas-themed rom-com is performed by Hugh Grant to the Pointer Sisters' Jump For My Love. After standing up for his beliefs and giving Billy Bob Thornton's president a piece of his mind, a British radio station commends the Prime Minister's noble actions. As he begins to undress, David feels the beat and is proud of himself. The uncalled for routine includes shaking of hips, sporadic pointing, and risky backwards descension of stairs. The entire piece makes us want to jump out of our skin, and we're not the only ones who weren't keen on this performance. Even Grant himself describes filming this as, quote, absolute hell. Terrific. Thanks so much. Number 7. Humble Brag Horror. Bring it on. Kicking off the famous franchise in 2000, the opening scene in the popular teen cheerleading comedy doesn't necessarily start off on the right foot. Immediately presented with Rancho Carney's high school cheerleading squad and their graduating captain Big Red, the Toros seek a new leader. I sizzle, I scorch, but now I pass the torch. Although Torrance Shipman's team's skills are adequate as national cheer champions, their non-traditional lyrics are what's most uncomfortable here. I want it. Everything you're not. I'm pretty. I'm cool. I dominate the school. 
The squad's confidence can easily be perceived as arrogance when each member of the Toros not so humbly introduces themselves. The number narrows in on the selection for their new captain and inevitably, Kirsten Dunst strips Big Red of her title. Thankfully, this performance was a dream, saving Torrance from her nightmare, however, still leaving the audience a little embarrassed for her. Number 6. Slow Motion Struggle – A Knight's Tale Why don't you show us all a dance of your country? Show us a dance of Gelderland. Starring the talented late Heath Ledger, one would expect great things from Brian Helgeland's A Knight's Tale. Although set in the 14th century, this medieval film features inappropriately dated music and choreography. When Count Admar requests that Ledger's William Thatcher present a traditional dance from his country, Gelderland, he spontaneously creates this debacle on the fly. Well, you should bow. Despite our opinions, Thatcher's routine catches the attention of noblewoman Jocelyn and several others. Extremely slow to join in, the whimsical dance gathers several participants who happen to know the steps. If the choreography wasn't complicated enough, halfway through this peculiar piece, the music switches from medieval melodies to David Bowie's mid-70s hit Golden Years. From periodic prances to pop punches, the inconsistency is confusing and a real nightmare. Number 5. Troubled Twist – Pulp Fiction Now I want to dance, I want to win, I want that trophy. So dance good. Directed by neo-noir enthusiast Quentin Tarantino, this crime film covers some pretty scary topics, one of them being Uma Thurman and John Travolta's dancing. Not exactly in his right state of mind, Vincent Vega is tasked with babysitting his boss's wife, Mia Wallace. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. Vega is hesitant when Thurman's character volunteers the pair to participate in the world-famous Jackrabbit Slim's twist contest. Now, who will be our first contestants? Right here! He eventually agrees, and the two take the stage in the 1950s-themed restaurant. With two prior roles in dance dramas, Travolta's skills in this scene are subdued compared to his performance in Grease and Saturday Night Fever. Granted, his character is supposed to be intoxicated here, and we could chalk it up to that, but this anticlimactic routine really had us twisted. Number 4. Don't Bet On It – High School Musical 2 in this overly dramatic scene from the Disney Channel's beloved teen musical, Troy Bolton suffers a wince-worthy adolescent temper tantrum. Everybody's always talking at me. Everybody's trying to get in my head. After seeing Mr. Fulton's notice and heartbroken from the iconic breakup with girlfriend Gabriela Montez, Troy is upset. He angrily saunters across a golf course in this terrific musical production of Bet on It. You can't bet on it, bet on it. Bet not only does he prove that his golf skills are up to par with his dancing, Zac Efron's character also has a cheesy revelation while looking for his lost ball. It's no good at all to see yourself and not recognize your face. As if the game of golf isn't nerve-wracking enough, imagine having to play while patiently waiting for Efron to finish this spectacle. On the green and with the moves, not even professional gamblers should bet on Troy here. You can't bet on me. Number 3. Crumpet. Bring it on, all or nothing. Guys, violence never solves anything! <laughs> Chill. We're crumping. With the lowest Rotten Tomatoes score on this list, the expectations for this cheer comedy were low. However, the level of cringe for Hayden Panettiere's crumping is at an all-time high. As an outcast at her new high school, Brittany Allen tries a little too desperately to fit in. While attending a Crenshaw Heights Warriors practice, the bubbly cheerleader stumbles upon a new style of dance. What? Look and learn, pixie stick. After being inappropriately antagonized into trying the cutting edge technique, Allen battles it out with male cheerleaders Tyson and Jesse. <laughs> That We're not sure what's worse, the way she was convinced to try crumping or her dancing itself. Kudos to her for attempting an unfamiliar routine, but with the uncoordinated pulsating and her graceless grunting, we almost wish she hadn't. Oh. 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 Number 4. 
Number two, this boogie is for real, Napoleon Dynamite. Although John Heater's dance in this comedy is iconic, it's praised for entertainment and not technique. I used to put my faith in worship, but then my chance to get to heaven slay. When his friend Pedro Sanchez runs for student body president, Napoleon Dynamite helps him with his campaign. On election day, it's a toss-up between the most cringeworthy moment, Pedro's speech or Napoleon's skit. After Pedro unenthusiastically addresses his fellow students, his pal tries to save the day. With his leather boots and supportive Vote for Pedro t-shirt, Napoleon hilariously hustles to a tape of Jamiroquai's Canned Heat and awkwardly sprints off stage. Gotcha. While the audience laughs at him and not with him, the truth behind this scene is that the filmmakers let Heater do whatever he wanted in this unpredictable freestyled boogie. And gosh, are we strangely here for it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Snap out of it. Spider-Man 3. Now take on this. Peter Parker may spawn webs from his wrists, but his jazz hands are unimpressive here. In the third installment, Parker brings Gwen Stacy to the jazz club where his former girlfriend Mary Jane performs. What's the best way to make your old flame jealous? Obviously with a toe-tapping ensemble directed towards another woman. Starting off playing the piano, Tobey Maguire's character immaturely dedicates his performance to MJ. This is for you. Sparing a perfectly good martini, he replaces his usual buildings and swings from a chandelier. Kirsten Dunst's expression says it all after he glides across the floor on a chair and launches his jacket at her. <laughs> after this ridiculous piece, we believe that Spider-Man should remain a vigilante and save us from his less than heroic dancing. I'm so sorry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.